morning children how are you all i hope uh, you all are fine because of this uh, covid 19 uh, we have been locked out in different places but anyway we are trying to put an effort to educate from the place wherever we are today let us learn about the number system see here to meet our day to day's life and to sort out the problems we meet in our day to day's life we need different types of numbers the first type of numbers are counting numbers these are the numbers used for counting you know counting of an object counting of the things will start from one always for example if i ask you to count the number of students present in the class you start from 1 2 3 4 5 up to infinity if i ask you to count the number of fingers in your hands you start from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 if i ask you to count the number of desks in the class you start from 1 2 3 etc therefore the counting numbers are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Dash, 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 dash. They continue up to infinity. So, this is a group of numbers which start from one and continue up to infinity. This group of numbers is represented in a pair of flower brackets called set marks. so the numbers that start from 1 and end at infinity and are used to count the objects or things are called counting numbers counting numbers are also called as the natural numbers therefore this group of numbers is denoted by a letter n n stands for natural numbers or the group of counting numbers do you think that only this group of counting numbers is sufficient and that will meet the all needs of our day to day life no let us see how if we have 4 rupees in our pocket we write the number 4 from this natural number set if we have 3 rupees in our pocket we use this number to represent 3 if we have 2 rupees in our pocket we use this number from this natural number set and write if we have 1 rupee in our pocket we write 1 when we have nothing in our pocket how will you write how will you show how will you represent it on the board can you search any number from this group to write there is nothing in our pocket no so when we need to show or represent nothing that time we need one more number called zero so zero 1 2 3 4 dash 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 up to infinity makes one more group of numbers called whole numbers thus the numbers starting from 0 then continuing from 1 2 3 4 up to infinity forms one more group of numbers called 
the group of whole numbers or the set of whole numbers this set of whole numbers is denoted by the letter w w stands for whole numbers whole numbers means the complete numbers now are these two sets of numbers or group of numbers enough to meet our day to day life and the needs that we face no so again we need one more group of numbers when why let us see see i write 4 which is a whole number the number which is less than 4 is 3 the number which is less than 3 is 2 the number which is less than 2 is 1 and the number which is less than 1 is 0 what about the number less than 0 if we come across such a situation can we write the number less than 0 from this group no can we get the number less than 0 from this group no so we need one more group of numbers called it integers that is the number less than 0 is minus 1 the number less than minus 1 is minus 2 the number less than minus 2 is minus 3 how long will you continue you will continue here up to negative infinity okay so from negative infinity dash 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 Minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, and the number greater than zero is one, two, three, four. Okay, and dash 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 up to infinity. So here we get one more group of numbers called integers. That is, the numbers having negative sign are called negative integers, and the numbers which are having the positive sign are called positive integers okay if you mention plus sign also okay if you don't mention plus sign also these are okay these numbers are considered to be positive integers which are nothing but natural numbers also so there is one more group of numbers called the integers which is a set of numbers containing the negative integers positive integers and zero so here we have seen that three groups of numbers the whole number group is greater than the natural number group or counting number group and the set of integers which is denoted by the letter z is the group of numbers which is greater than the natural number group and whole number group so we have today seen three group of numbers called the natural numbers whole numbers and integers respectively hope children you have understood the three groups of numbers today in my next period we will see the rational numbers and the irrational numbers till then see you tomorrow goodbye thank you